All right, man. Hanging out with my brother, Eight Ball. Eight Ball <laughs> got me out. I came to Memphis to see my brother, man. Yeah. I had to come to Memphis to see my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the first thing I said is, I'm hungry. Yeah. So, uh, wh wh tell me where we at. Uh, we in the uh, Memphis State University area. Uh, a friend of mine got a restaurant called Plant Based Heat. Uh, it's Plant Based Heat. <laughs> Well, let, let's go eat then. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, you right on time. Bring the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. Right on time. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. So tell me about uh, where we are right now. Oh, plant-based mm -hmm. heat, man. Okay. Uh, you said my man's a DJ. Yeah. Uh, he had, had in, a, in another lifetime. Okay. He okay. was a DJ, yeah. RJ okay. Groove, man. RJ Groove. Yeah, yeah. And Google now, that man. And, and how did, you was telling me a cool story of how he started oh, before yeah. he got the brick and mortar. Uh, yeah, you uh, you order on IG. Mm -hmm. You put your order in and mm -hmm. meet him on like a parking lot or something. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like he tell you when it's going to be ready. You meet him and then he got this place, man, right by Memphis State. Yeah. And uh, like I said, it's uh, summertime now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got the run of the place. But when school is in at this time of can't, day, can't get in here. You can't get in here straight up. Oh. Like I wait till after lunch to make my yeah order. yeah yeah yeah. Because because it's gonna be busy. It's gonna be stupid. It's, it's gonna be lying down this way. It's gonna be stupid all out the door like down okay. the street. Okay. Okay. And what did, what did we get? We got uh, oyster mushroom. That's the oyster mushroom basket. Mm -hmm. uh, and we ordered like, something else too. And the uh, vegan smoke sauce. That's going down. Yeah. Okay. She coming with another one now. It was her, we was talking about getting something to drink. Yeah. She was like, you gotta get that, that, that. <laughs> that lemonade. In, 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 in house yeah. lemonade, oh, yeah. cause it's five. Oh, really? <laughs> cause it's five. You hear me? That in house lemonade, man. I'm so, we, listen, you know how we do, man. We just kicking it. We gonna eat, we gonna drink, we gonna do what we do. This is the first whiskey podcast. My brother ate ball. Uh, Got me in Memphis, man. Oh, to, to, you know, came straight. I know y'all expected to, for me to take him to a barbecue place <laughs> just because we in Memphis, but we ain't gonna do that this time. We, we gonna switch plant, it up. Plant based yeah. fire. Yeah, we gonna switch it up. Man. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, so man, I, I I was gonna do this whole elaborate intro, you know, but you know, you need no introduction. Mm -hmm. um, you're a legend in the game. Legendary group, eight ball MJG, one half, Orange Mile representative. And I had I had a funny line, I was gonna say the 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 bacon soda mixer, <laughs> the illegal money hey, treasurer. Hey, <laughs> hey, that was the nineties. <laughs> that was the nineties. Now man. we the the plant based. Now I'm dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just dad, man. All right. Oh yeah. With the sweet potato tie, so we we also and this is the two yeah. sausages. The now, now we just waiting on that five. Yeah, okay. We just waiting on yeah. that five. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, you know, throughout your career, you you've been known. Uh, you all had a, this southern hip hop sound, of course, right? Always. Um, how will you describe your musical style and its evolution over the years? Cause we on what ten albums? Something like nine, that. ten albums, right? Yeah. Right. Man, just uh, I mean, we always like stayed in our in our little range. Like mm -hmm. we we make a certain kind of music. Mm -hmm. So. Get that fire illuminated. That fire, oh, fire. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, you'll pad me that ketchup if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Well, I said it all. You, you can yeah, Go ahead. do your thing. Look, I said it all over there. Thing. I grabbed it and then. Oh, really? Just let, right me there. Take, let me taste this fire. Hold on. Yeah. That's, that's the manager oh, yeah. right there, y'all. Say hey. Hey, say baby. hey. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> Fatima. Fa so is that fire and that Fatima? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Fatima made that fire. Fatima made that fire. You hear me? This that fire. This that fire. Oh, really? Yeah. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, this real good. It's real good. I already know. So you're saying, you know, y'all stay in your range. Yeah, you know, we, no matter what, uh, it's just like, uh, and I use this as an example because he just shook the world with his uh, verse on the Michael album, uh, Andre. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
or any anybody in that that's like has a certain thing that fans mm-hmm. dig about them. Mm-hmm. Um, no matter what Andre is on, he's Andre. That's right. No matter what the subject matter is or who he's on a song with, mm-hmm. that's Dre. Mm-hmm. That's Andre Dre. Mm-hmm. That's Dre. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how me and G is. You know, uh, you know, whatever we own. You know, fans hear it and be like, "Oh, that's ball and G." It's ball and like, G. Like whatever it is, we could be talking about something serious, mm-hmm. uh, whatever. Some tell a story, storytelling, whatever, story, right? Yeah, you know. And just through the years, we've always kind of kept that. You know, like we um, we try new things or whatever, but mm-hmm. it's always us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's eat some of this food, man. This. This, look, I know it's hard to talk and chew, but oh, hey, I didn't man. want to be chewing all <laughs> hey. of the mic because I know I'm crunched. This, this, you, is so, Listen, this is so good. I'm from uh, Memphis, and, Tennessee, mm-hmm. and uh, I still got plenty of that little country boy in me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Mm. I don't mind eating in front of y'all. Mm. I really don't. And look, you know <laughs> I don't mind. I got a whole podcast based on drinking whiskey and eating. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so talking on collaboration, over the years you've collaborated with, you know, anywhere from, like you just said, Outkast, um, you know, T.I., you, you know, collaboration seems to be kind of a, a, a key aspect when uh you know working album by album right yeah. um any memorable experiences or any lessons from collaboration over the years man oh off the chain <laughs> uh like our first feature ever that we paid for mm-hmm. mc breed mm-hmm. um, rest in peace that was the second album, your second album, correct? He just had a birthday. That was the second album uh, mm-hmm. on the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. Actually, the only feature on that album. No features on Coming Out Hard at right. all. That was the first one. But um, MC Breeze, man, like, because he was like, <coughs> the album New Breed mm-hmm. was so dope. Like, the production. Mm-hmm. He had Tupac on a few songs on that joint. Yeah. And it was just, I don't know, that shit was hard. It was funky too. Like, it was, yeah, yeah. Used to, man, yeah. Ride, that's all we used to listen to, that new breed. Mm-hmm. Man, and, like, and just to have him on our album, that was like the biggest shit ever yeah. to yeah. us. You know what I mean? It's like, crazy. That was a big moment, like then, you know. And then just over the years, man, you know, <coughs> I'm, I'm one of those people that. I have all these great moments mm-hmm. uh, that are just different on all different levels, man. You know, uh, I'm sure you, I'm sure you got a, yeah, a lot man. of them. It's hard to to meet people. You yeah. know, um, I met Zach Randolph for the first time with Fat Joe mm. way before he came to Memphis. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, uh, stuff like that, man. You know, uh, just people places everything has this, this mm-hmm. different story man mm-hmm. you know that's wild yeah. wow Bree, that's 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 wild for a first feature man oh yeah so yeah. so let's talk about this real quick you you know you got the star wars on i got the space egg sipping oh, really? how does this collect you got a whole beer y'all got a y'all got a whole how that come how that collaboration come about uh man uh bill street brew man mm-hmm. uh memphis base uh, black home brewery. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cat started off, man, um, and we was one of the first uh, beers from his brewery. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, it's good IPA, grapefruit undertone. Matter of fact, I got it. Hold on. Yeah, hey, I, that thing, I brought it because you gave me some and didn't ice, sign them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ice cold. That junk is five, man. Yeah. yeah. No, I went. Yeah, I went through a case. I went through half a case. Oyster mushrooms, y'all. Yo, them oyster mushrooms hey. off the chain. Barbecue sauce. That's it. So I'm gonna have you sign this before I leave out of Memphis, brother. 
Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. it. Shout out to uh, Bird Cap. Yeah, design is great. the artwork, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Bird Cap. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, Bill Street Brew. We in, we in bars all over Memphis on tap. Hotels got us in the in the mini bar. Uh, How far is the brewery from here? It's not brick and mortar yet. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, we said it over there. There you go. Yeah, he's not brick and mortar yet, but they um, they're working on a couple. Cause of I was gonna things. go buy another case, cause yeah. I I mean, but no. I ran through my, my my drinkable cans. I can get you that. Though. Okay. Yeah, that's Cause, no problem. Cause I got two they of them. They cash savers all over me. Mm -hmm. Cash savers. Cash saver. Look. These are my two, I got two of them. And I feel like you, you gave me a four pack. Yeah. I had to try one, I had, to, had, oh, yeah. had to break the pack. Oh yeah. The other two sit in my studio. Already. Oh, so, you know, I got- You gotta the, keep one. You gotta you got keep one. I got the Big Boy Bud. I got the Snoop Dogg and a Martha uh, <laughs> Stewart wine. Already. Oh, Stuff like that, you know, yeah. it's these hip hop yeah. pieces that yeah, I mean hip hop is everywhere, that's, man. That's nostalgia, man. That's yeah. uh, that's one of one, and you can only get these in Memphis. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. <laughs> can can you order? Can't even send them nowhere. Oh, uh, we're sending them now. Okay, but uh, to actually buy one, you really had to come here. You know what I mean? So yeah. I I got look, cause I've had mine now. I think y'all had just you were in Atlanta. We missed each other. Yeah. We just had started. Yeah, just uh, started. We came out on the shelf. Uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. Pandemic. Which, which is uh, a wild time to start yeah, anything. Yeah, like March or April, something mm -hmm. like that. You want some tops? Yeah, but it was, it was already allotted to come. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. so I do want to try them. Yeah, try them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was already ready to come, you know what I mean, so. So, and look, you know, I'll say we're seasoned. We, 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 I've been DJing some decades. You, you've been in this thing some decades. What motivates you to keep going, you know, now? Just even, you know, you're still doing, you're still touring, you're still doing shows, you still a part of the music, you know. <coughs> Still a part of beer collabs, and you still going um, with with no signs slowing down. What what keeps you motivated Man. now? Well, for one, it's a blessing mm -hmm. to you know people still want to hear your music, and mm -hmm. uh, young people still um, are interested when their parents and uncles and older people play that and they be like, oh, that's who that is. Or, you know, like our shows now, mm -hmm. it be moms and daughters and fathers and sons there. Mm -hmm. You know, kids 20 something telling us, you know, my dad play your music so mm -hmm. much, we had to come see mm -hmm. what this was mm -hmm. about. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like stuff like that, man. And just family, family is everything, man. And trying to, you know, uh, that's, you know. I know, right? Look, <laughs> that's, that, that, that ain't gonna stop me from eating. I'll uh, tell you that. But that's, uh, you know, that's what, you know, the, the love of the fans, man, and just we be, you know, you, us as entertainers or whatever you want to call it. When you look at some of these people, you so much more to them mm -hmm. than just a song or a rapper or whatever the title is. Like right. Some of these people, right. man, like fans of our music, you know, that's family because they, they, people feel like they know you from, right. the, from this right. music, man, you know. You've been a part of their lives yeah. for decades. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Literally, people right. People have raised children right. listening to our music. Like grown, I got grown kids mm -hmm. since I started making music, you know, right. and it's just, that's the, that's really what it do, like, and then, the real love of it, like I, I come from, <clears throat> I come from the real love of it, man. Like, uh, just love music, man. Just yeah. love music, all types of music. All your, man. all your life. All my life, man. I just love music, like, you know. If uh, did your parents uh, were, were they deep in the music or, or 
played instruments and, and things, or was it somebody close, or it just just uh just was in me, man. Mm -hmm. Nobody around me, like none of my family. All my family come from working class people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm of an age where my mama was in the cotton field when she was a child. You mm -hmm. feel me? So mm -hmm. that's that's where my family come from. Like my pop never thought about doing no music. Like no entertainment bone was in my family until you, until me. Yeah, and and now it's now yeah, it's you know, after you was they. they now my your son, son sound awesome, man. I'm telling you. Appreciate it. I'm not just saying that. Appreciate it. We were we were just at the studio, yeah. and they were running through some songs. I'm sitting back. I'm, I'm setting up my cameras, and, and I'm sitting here like next thing I know, I'm just. Oh, yeah. And I and I had to think. I said, I said, wait, that's y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is they us. They coming together. It's like sounding good, man. They first stuff right now ever. Like they never really took it serious until mm -hmm. now, and they really just they. They taking off. They crawling right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, well, they get they got a great start. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Man. I think a little more than crawl. Yeah, I mean, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's getting there, man. You know, I, um, you know, I want I want them to 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 go down their own lane. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So right. I don't want to try to be too much over it or whatever. You know, I just want to kind of let them have their sound and they let them they do vibe them, and yeah. Mm -hmm. But keep them from making a lot of the same mistakes I made. Because you know? like you said, you were the first, so I'm sure yeah. you you was learning oh, yeah. just like me and this filming. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. We, you know? We, we're taking our time right now yeah. and we're doing everything that I didn't do at that point of my career. You know right. what I mean? Right. So hopefully in this age of whatever we in right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. it'll help them propel them in the right way and uh, make sure that they get what they supposed to get when right. they uh, work, you know. Right, right. That's what we are. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to dig in to some of this plant base because mm -hmm. what I'm not going to do is be on camera destroying uh, <laughs> veggie hey. sausage. They, they ain't going to be killing yeah, me on the internet. Do that. So we're going we gonna to. I will fuck with these uh, oyster oh, mushrooms, these, though. These oyster mushrooms. <laughs> If I didn't know, matter of fact, I'm gonna get some of this barbecue sauce. If I didn't know that they were mushrooms, oh, I felt that's a, oh, that's all right. And I was about to say the 10 second rule, but it's too late. <laughs> no, on camera, I had to do that on camera, y'all. Edit that shit out. <laughs> all right, ball. You done, you done got me full, so we, get, we gotta move before I have to be sleeping in the car. Oh, uh, really? Man. So, so where to next? Oh uh, man, we just, I'll show you a couple of spots while okay. we wrap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Ball. You got a pillow in here, man. About to... <laughs> <laughs> hey. That was good, man. Oh yeah, man. That was good. Good cool. no meat, uh, uh huh. Comfort food, man. That's really all it was, man. I told you, I, if, I, if I if I didn't know, and I was eating them oysters. Oyster um, mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms. They like chicken strips almost. It's wild, man. Yeah. It's wild. All right. Good I'm switch ready. Up. The switch up don't hurt. Switch up don't hurt. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go show me a couple, couple spots around Memphis. Well, since, uh, since we were so close to Orange Mound. Mm-hmm. I was gonna roll through there. Let's do it. Cause we right on the cusp. Okay. Yeah, the cusp. Okay, the cusp. The cusp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got anything coming up? What's uh, you know what what's any other shows? No, you just got finished doing. Um, how was Babelton? Yeah, Goody out there. Who's uh, the, I saw a picture. Man. Uh, Who's all out there? Bun B. Mm -hmm. uh, DJ Quick. Quick. Uh, the Dog Pound. Damn. Goody Mob. And us, and uh, the second night, Bun B got a uh, big crit at the end of his show. Oh, sweet! And uh, Jazzy Faye jumped on the stage with us. Mm -hmm. Do that show. Oh, do uh, do show no? Yep. Yeah, it was. Uh, what T lad? I think Tila wasn't in town. Okay. Man. 
He couldn't make it, yeah, but it Is MJG a, here or where where's he here? Okay. That's dope. Uh, oh yeah. That's dope. He always been a homeboy though since day one. I don't remember meeting him before. I feel like every time I've been around, even when well, we came here, it's just fact, being me and you. I don't think I've met MJG before. That's what I was going to say. I know for a fact. It's always like, been me and you. Back then, he was here mostly mm, mm -hmm. when I was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm that's somebody I had, I don't think I have met. Yeah. Um, at none of the shows, for sure. Oh yeah. Because, like you said, the the if we ever came here, I'm sure the club been there, but I, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. It was I it was came. just you. At that at that. I can't that remember place. where y'all came in. I, I would have to call. I would have came. to call Crusher man and see. Yeah. Um, if he remembered, that but was, that's been so long ago. I was like, going to say that's back in the day. So long ago and so many shows ago. Yeah, that's back in the day. Yeah, right I, uh, I I don't know if I if I could uh, <laughs> remember that. But any, anything coming up that uh, you know that, that you excited about? Uh, well, or they, that you can speak on in, in any. I mean, anything? we got uh, the next two like performances: Longview, Texas, and Detroit. Them the oh, next dope. couple. Dope. But I know uh, <clears throat> what I'm excited about. Uh, we are performing with the Memphis City Orchestra oh. for uh, 30 years coming out hard, um, November the 10th. Okay. Um, at the Orpheum wow. here in Memphis, and um, we're doing coming out hard with the Orpheum. I mean, orchestra. with the orchestra, man. At the Orpheum, you know. So that's pretty. I'm, I'm I'm excited about that for sure. Thirty years. How how did, <laughs> does it feel like thirty years? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> you nigga lying if you say that. <laughs> Damn, I'm lying. It feel like thirty years. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. No, that's amazing, like 30 man. Thirty years. Thirty years, cause. Yeah. So that means I mean, ninety two. So it'll be ninety three, right? 93, yeah. yeah. So so we really on the 29th year. No, thirty. This it, is thirty years it right came here. Came out in ninety three. Ninety three. Damn, it's twenty twenty three, bro. This is this is why it feels like thirty years because I'm old <laughs> and be like, what's the damn? Hey, what I, hey <laughs> boy. And then if you got a teenager in the house, <laughs> yeah. they gonna make you. They gonna remind you every day how old you. Are. You got a teenager in the house. That's for sure. Mine, mine yeah. is three, so he oh. ain't, he ain't got he ain't to that yet. yet. You he having ain't fun it. right now? Yeah, yeah. well, shit. Yeah, so, that's the. I we mean, having fun, but he off exchange, man. But still, that's a the baby is more mm -hmm. uh, controllable mm -hmm. than when they thirteen and fourteen. They think they know everything. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> think they know everything. Yeah, you're in the heart of Orange Mound, right here, man. Sims and Park Avenue. In the heart of it. There it is. Yeah. I know you got some memories down here. Well, I didn't, uh, I had an aunt that stayed on this end, mm -hmm. on that street right there. We stayed on down, like, on down. Okay. Dope. Oh man. And I'm telling you, listen, I got more questions, but I'm so full. <laughs> Doggone uh plant based popping. Oh yeah. They get you. Hell yeah. They get you. Fills you up, man. Yeah, yeah but I don't feel like if I would have had <coughs> churches. I don't oh. feel like that, you know. It's a good that's, fool. That's a different, uh, you know. I wouldn't say good, but it's it's different. Yeah, it's definitely different.
This is a good way here. See, this is all old, old, old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Super old school. This building right here. This green one. Has been a nightclub since my mama was wow. 20-something. It used to be called a TP when she was coming up. And then when me and MJ was coming up, it was Club Memphis. Is it still, they still doing stuff out of it? Uh, I think they might just rent it out for rent parties out for, yeah. or something now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But it used to be in our day, it was Club Memphis. And DJ Squeaky, Skinny Pimp. It used to be one of them spots, boy. At the park. You know, this Melrose High School. This is official Orange Mound High School. Everybody think I went there, but I didn't. Okay. Because <laughs> you, you told about the other one that, that was on the college campus. Yeah. So. I knew the principal, Mr. Bridges, man. Rest in peace, Mr. Bridges. He just died. Oh, man. Sorry just to hear had his funeral a little while ago. But, yeah, man, he, I speak to Mr. Bridges. Hey, big man. <laughs> I ain't even supposed to be over here. <laughs> Big man. You, you just at the school. Yeah, I'm just in that job, man. <laughs> he know for sure I went to that school. Ah. Uh, right they got uh, this old school footage mm -hmm. of me and MJ performing with a Memphis artist called Al Capone. Mm -hmm. uh, it was at, we were at Melrose. At, at the Melrose. school we just passed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is, this is, this is my elementary school. Oh, don't. From first to third grade, I used to walk about five, six blocks down to this school, Dunbar Elementary. Dunbar Elm. Yeah. What are we coming up on the left or the right? Oh, I see. Right here. And then there's Melrose Stadium behind it. Mm hmm That's like where all the uh, Melrose High School football games are played. Yep, Dunbar Elementary, man, still here. Still right. All right, slow down on this man, one. Man, they rebuilt these. You know, I said they need to do this, and they did it. Wow. That's dope. And it's Did been I need in. to stop them too. No, nah, you good. I get. I oh, caught it. Okay. I caught it. I caught it. Oh, yeah. So you know, looking back on the journey, still going. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing stopped. Just you know, we 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 dipping into all kind of different businesses. You know, beer collabs and you know, your, your seeds are getting into it and you know, absolutely, ain't nothing stopping. But any advice. Um, you know, that, that you would give to artists, you know, business folk coming up that, you know, to, to try to create a lasting impact. Because you have a lasting impact. Y'all y'all are yeah, just, 30 years and, and counting. And I don't know what we did different. You know, I always like, I like to go to people's concerts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that I admire, mm -hmm. or that I always wanted to see, mm -hmm. you know, younger guys, even young guys, and um, just all type of music, just to see what they do different. Mm -hmm. And um, it's uh, it's the music, man. It's just mm -hmm. something about the music, man. You know, that's all I can say. Like I don't know, you know. I don't know. I just know that, you know, we always been ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like never really tried to fake it or be something that we wasn't, you know. I don't know. Authenticity. Yeah. That's important. Definitely. That's it. You said it. It resonates with the fans. Yeah, you said it. They can tell. Yeah. They can tell when it ain't real. It's two of them coming. They rolling. Can you see? Got to get them out here though. We be sitting there all day. Right. <laughs> but this, like, see, it used to be a store right here called Solo. Mm -hmm. 
and then the little restaurant I was talking about. See mm -hmm. that little building right there? Mm -hmm. Just little That's one right it, here. That little building. That was this was a restaurant. It used to be. Used to be. And see, I grew up the first eight years of my life on this street right here. Wow. Pop Somalis used to be Claiborne and Fish Market. Mm -hmm. Same building. And <clears throat> all this shit is new. It mm -hmm. used to they be, rebuild them. Yeah, it used to be duplexes. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. only house that's the same, this house right here, my my one of my best friends when I was a child, his mom was from Milwaukee. She married a guy from New York. Mm -hmm. She used to take him to New York every summer, and he would come home with them mixtapes from off the radio. And like she was like instrumental in me hearing all this first stuff that I heard. Like this house was... We used to play in the back of this house, sit on the porch, and uh, you know, that, that was your have Spotify. Bible that, study. That was your and, Apple Music. You, yeah. they, they right. They brought it down, and, and Our wow, house, we had duplexes on this side, but all all of these are they gone. Mm -hmm. like, all this shit is new. Yeah, came through and rebuilt. Yeah, yeah. All these are new, new. Uh, wow. This it seemed like this used to be a house. Was this a house it, here or he had a big used lot? To be a field. Okay. Uh, this house always been there. And that one always been there. This mm -hmm. one got rebuilt. Uh, the family that stayed in this house were uh, um, hood pharmacists. Mm hmm. I understand. And they also <laughs> dealt in um, female entertainment. <laughs> Uh, they was like the first people we saw. Man, the boy went to L.A. Mm -hmm. and came back with, and blew everybody mind Jesus. in the neighborhood with uh, female entertainment and uh, pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Straight How about up, that? Straight up, yeah. But my first like <clears throat> ten years of my life, man, right up, here, up and down this street, right here, man. You know, you know, and you could tell the rebuilts mm -hmm. and the ones that you know. Like that shit been there, but all this just used to be houses, and then the cove, the cul-de-sac I lived in, is right here, in front of us. Lamar Circle, man. Wow. Lamar Cove. Wow. Wow. Um. Torn. You like torn? Yep. You like it? Some some artists they tour out of necessity, but not necessarily because they they like any uh any any wild behind the scenes moments that come to mind that you could that, that you could share. Nothing too crazy, you know. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you had some crazy. I mean, shit. <laughs> crazy things happen all the time. Yeah, I think uh it was crazier back, you know, a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we're like, uh, I don't know. We're a little more calm these days, mm -hmm. man. You know, uh, far as just a lot of the stuff that you know we used to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little more calm, man. You know, life change, dad, life change, family change, I mean, just all of that. And then mm -hmm. you're not um, like. Me and MJ did a lot of running around, and, and, and I mean that like, like out all the time. Like when mm -hmm. we lived in Houston, like we like Jamaica, Jamaica. It was a club called Jamaica, Jamaica. That was like MJ's office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like always there. Always there. I'm talking about hit the club closed at two, follow up in there at one thirty and drink the bar out of Hennessy in 30 minutes and then sit on the parking lot and smoke till everybody gone. Like, you know, that type of shit. Like, Hours later. I'm talking about, and that's just in that city. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like we didn't really, this like the shopping center, this been here since I was a child as well. Uh-oh. That's okay. That's all right. But yeah, since I was a child, man, like, it used to be Kroger's and mm -hmm. 
um, the mixtape, like the the Memphis mixtape era started mm-hmm. in this parking lot. Wow. Stereo One used to be right here, and they used to sell uh, like just all of the squeakies, the skinny pimps, mm-hmm. the right here. You know, yeah, man. This this been here since I was a child, man. Literally, since I was a baby. It's a dope mural my too. My mama, me and my mom used to walk down to this joint. This was wow. where you had to shop at for clothes and groceries. Everything right like here. Before Walmart, this was MJ Street. <clears throat> and as you can see, mm-hmm. everything, like the house he grew up in is gone. Wow. All of this whole end. And uh, I want to say he was about right here, maybe. Somewhere on here. And the whole house is, is just empty. It's gone. <laughs> and, and they left the pickup truck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> See, the house I mean, is gone. Probably Here's a somebody, truck. you know, they they sell a lot of this property. Mm-hmm. People own this stuff. And, you know, like this house right here, my boy, his family still stay there. Mm-hmm. A uh, cat named Dwayne, man, and uh, but yeah, this is the street MJ grew up on, man. Wow. Yeah, right under the bridge. Man, I did get it right. Yeah. They got some 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 land for sale now. Oh, everything mm-hmm. over here for sale. <laughs> Tell you. Yep, everything. All these buildings, man. Mm-hmm. That used to be a bar my mom used to go to. Like, I can't remember the name of that shit. Now, with all that shit been there since, since we were children, my friend. A wee, a wee little lad. A wee lad. <laughs> yeah. Any uh, new artists? That uh, that's on your radar that you're feeling, or you know, say, when I say new. Let's say the past five, ten years. You you know, we anybody uh, I don't know. It's uh, probably a bunch of them. I like different people for different reasons, mm-hmm. man. You know, uh, seems like music <coughs> now is I, so many. You know, so many come out so quick. Yeah, it's so many, and then. It's hard to keep up. It's, uh, it's hard to keep up, especially yeah. when you're not, like, you know, you got to honestly be on the pulse mm-hmm. these mm-hmm. days, like, mm-hmm. for real, you know, to just keep up, keep up, man. I uh, I enjoy Kodak Black once I uh, decipher what he be talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I like Kodak. Yeah, I like Kodak, man. He's full of style, mm-hmm. man. Like, I, I dig his style, man, for sure. It seems like he has a lot of fun with it, too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I don't know. I see a lot in him, man. He, he can tell a story. Mm-hmm. Um, he just can talk that shit. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is. Mm-hmm. You know. But as far as the new guys, you know, um, I like the, a few of the lyricists, man. You know, J. Cole ain't bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, that's my favorite song by him. By Jay. Yeah, apparently. That's my favorite song. He's, he spoke to me on that joint. Apparently, now I, get, now I gotta play it. I'm trying to think. Do I? Apparently. Oh, you tripping. Uh, you gonna make me play it. Play it? Look, give, me, give me a little bit. Play it up. That's like. That's my theme music, man. Like. Okay, okay, yeah. Play some of it, yep, yep. <laughs> the boy talked that shit on this. We don't want him to charge you, bro. Yeah, you look, look, don't charge <laughs> J. Cole. Don't charge you for the clip, J. Cole and you, YouTube. Bro. Don't, don't <laughs> cut me off. Now, we finna pass where a dog got killed up here, the cookie shop. Oh, man. I haven't been in there since. I can't do it. 
Mm-hmm. Like I really, you know, me and dude wasn't like brothers or mm-hmm. nothing, mm-hmm. but like I really felt what he was doing and dug his music and dug him as a person or whatever. And just to think about <clears throat> how, I don't know, how horribly he died mm-hmm. in that building right there yeah. at that door. And I just, you know, it's hard for me to go in there, John. Yeah. And I love them damn cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Straight right. up. Right. And like, them right. cookies is real, for real. And for some reason, only out of this building, like, Right. They got another location, and they can ship them to you. Right, you can get them at the grocery store, but for some reason, out of this building, it's just like they might taste different for some reason. Probably, probably fresh, fresh out the out the batch. Oh, they definitely. Mm-hmm. All of that. Yeah. All of that. Yeah, that that was that was wild, man. You know, definitely dug his music. I, I hadn't met him. I didn't know him, but that that was. I was like, a what? What happened? Where? At home? What? Man. What? I mean, senseless. Yeah, I was sleep on the couch, man. Yeah. Couldn't believe. Bullshit. Discount liquor. All that shit been there since I was a kid. That stove, that car wash, car wash. This little building, this little building got a basement. Man, we used to go here. Uh, my one of my that store been there, mm-hmm. but we used to go to that little place right there. One of my partners, uh, mama, called a golden girl. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm talking about stay out all night. Mm-hmm. We was twenty something, and she was man colder than us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We we go to that little building right there. It was like a little whatever hole in the wall, mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. and just the. Uh, you know, the real party was downstairs in the basement. And, you know, just back back in the day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Back back in the day. Caught, we caught a little traffic. Yeah, it's right over the hill. They got some construction, but that's the uh, that's the cookie shop right there. Right here on the left? Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Then I, what they reported about um, the guy that was suspe- suspect, suspected of, uh, you know. Oh, they got a lot going they got, on. Yeah, it's it's like yeah. super and that, that's fairly new, too. Yeah. About the guy. It's super messy. Mm-hmm. But they got a lot going on, when I say that. Yeah. Yeah, make me want to stop and get some of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And see, that's what the people were saying. Like the people that own the other buildings, mm-hmm. people still painting. I see. On the wall, you know. Even though they they moved the mural, the mural to another location, mm-hmm. but people still come up here though. It's like wow. ground zero, say five percent now. Yeah, that's all right. Cause I mean, cause what's cool is now we've been showing, you know, all the yeah. where you came up at. I had this one on you, oh, so really? so I mean, I can go between this one and that one. Shit gonna be gangster. I'm gonna dump the all this. The power of editing. The power of editing, and then yeah. if 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 I don't had nothing else, I had one of these. I had something. Cause I got the audio that's gonna line up, oh, so yeah. I'd be able to flip back. Power editing, man. Oh yeah. Now they get AI that be doing editing for you. AI's a whole. whole we beast. we ain't even talked about AI today. Exactly. AI's a whole nother. Whole nother beast. A whole nother beast, man. They they got it where <laughs> they putting. They putting. They can put your voice on. Oh yeah. A whole song. And AI will. Write it and speak it in your like your delivery. You know what I'm saying? Like your. I listen to them songs though. with uh, Kanye and Drake and all you them. Could, you could hear the robot. Yes. Like you know. But this the this the first. But yeah, that's what I was finna say. Like once that shit get to going, mm-hmm. it's gonna be something else. Mm-hmm. 
because that, uh, I got a buddy of mine that's into like tech a lot or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Almost we, took, uh, he almost took him out. Man. Look, we, camera's uh, too hot. Yeah. That's all right, so now it'll be. But hey, he still gave me this much. Oh, yeah. So now that now it's you. Your buddy did what now? Oh, no, I was just saying that we was like experimenting when we first uh, discovered some of those programs. Mm -hmm. Just making it write stuff. Like mm -hmm. we'd ask it to write a. A biography about Eight Ball and MJG mm -hmm. or whatever. How close would it come? Uh, super close. Super close, right? But it's like you could tell that it's using information that's on the web mm -hmm. already. You know, and, what and I mean? piecing it and pulling yeah, it and piecing yeah, it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but it made a whole like, you know, with a couple of uh, edits. Mm -hmm. If you had to write a paper or you know what I mean yep. or an article or whatever like bam like there, there's your article that's wild that's wild man it's it is. it's scary but when used the right way oh yeah you know it can be powerful if used the right way but what's gonna happen is I, don't, I think it's gonna, it's be, gonna yeah. be out of control yeah yeah like this world can't Humans can't handle anything responsibly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything. That's right. And especially power. Right. Like we, you know, it's proven. That's right. You know, humans can, we're going to fuck up everything. No matter how good it's supposed to be, how good it can do for the world. It's going to be somebody that's going to. It's going to. Yeah. It's always going to be a Hitler. Mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. you know, always. And that sucks. Look, man, gave me the tour, Memphis, Orange Mile. Uh, you gave me full. I had to take a nap. I had to take. I had to take Already. a nap. Hey, man. Um, that, I thank that, you, man. That plant-based comfort oh, food. Oh man. <laughs> I gotta come back Already. just, just if nothing else for that. Already, the second time we doing barbecue. Second time, yeah. yeah. I love you, brother. Oh, really, Thank you. Man. Appreciate you. Man. And uh, I can't wait to uh, come hang and do this again. Oh, really? All right. Tell them how to get at you on IG. Or, you know, what's, what's the best way? And uh, and plug your sons, please. Oh, man. Instagram uh, is the number eight, I-G-H-T-B-A-L-L. -L. And um, be looking out for Big Old Dog and ATM Vaughn. Um, like father, like son. The first single is called Break a Bit. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> My brother. <sighs> Peace. I gotta get him to sign this beer. Hold on. There it is. Man. Don't be trying to steal my Sharpie, man. <laughs> I'm watching. I got I got the wide the wide Sharpie. Oh really, man. <laughs> now you can have it if you want it for real. <laughs>